Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nudiana Binti Ismail. Okay, I will continue with importance of unifying science, technology and society. As we know, science and technology has a vital role to play in modern society. Science allows us to understand the world we live in and the universe that surrounds us at a deeper level. So, why science is important to our society? Firstly, science helps us to improve our understanding of life and how it works. For example, biology, chemistry and physics. These three major branches of scientific research which allow us to understand the earth crunches, competition for life, the composition of various materials and the law of gravity. Besides, there are also the social science which enable us to understand human relationship and interaction through study of the brain and cognitive process. Some of the social science field include physiology, economy, government, business, archaeology and criminology. Okay, we move to the importance of technology to our society. Technology improve our standard of living and open up new opportunity for exploration and communication that we can take full advantage of. For technology, communication and interaction between people all over the world has improved as a result of advancement in technology. For example, we can see mobile phone and email that allow people from one hemisphere to communicate with between 2,000 of miles away on the other side of the globe. Hence, satellite and rocket also has been developed to improve the interaction outside of Earth in the widest solar system. As we can see, the creation of a new medicine and machine is a result of technical development. of science and technology. As we know, science, technology and human life cannot be separate. Human use technology to travel, to communicate, to learn, to do business and to live in comfort. To gain new utilization, there must be positive impact and negative impact. So firstly, I will talk about positive impact of technology on society. For the first one, technology has mechanized agriculture. Modern agriculture technology allows a small number of people to grow vast quantity of food in a short period of time with less input which results into high yield. Then, the use of technology in agriculture has resulted in the manufacturing of genetic crops which can grow fast. And the last one, farmer has access to artificial fertilizer which add value to soil and boost the growth of their crop and enable them to produce high quantity yield. Other than that, technology has improved transportation. Transportation is one of the basic area of technological activity. Transportation provides mobility for people and goods. Technology has helped in advancing all the four types of transportation, which is road transport used by automobile, air transport used by airplane, water transportation used by ship and speedboat, and space transportation used to go to wood. Technologies like automobile, bus, truck have improved the way human move and how they transport their good from place to another. The last positive impact is technology has improved education and learning process. Education is a backbone of every economy. People need well and organized educational infrastructure so that they can learn how to interpret. Technologies like smart whiteboard, computers, mobile phone, iPad, projector, and internet are being used in classrooms to boost student moral to learn. Visual education is becoming more popular and it has been 
of learning in many subjects. So, what is negative impact of technology on society? Resources depletion is one of negative impact of technology on society. The more demand for new technology and advancement of current technology, the more pressure we put on Earth's natural resources. They have to export Mother Nature for resources like aluminium. When these resources are extracted from the Earth plate, they will never return back because it took them a billion years to mature. Next, increase population. In developed country, population growth is controlled by advanced birth control methods. This has helped them balance their population in relation to natural resources and other opportunities which come with a planned population. In different in developing countries, the rate at which people produce is very high. The mortality rate is high, food is scarce and hard care is poor. The last negative impact is increased pollution. Pollution affects the land we grow crop on, the water we drink, and the air we breathe. The increased demand for new technology and advancement of technology has resulted in many manufacturing and processing factories. They release harmful chemicals and gases which has polluted our environment and this has resulted in climate change. The next example is Enterprise Email Marketing System. It allows business to promote new products regularly, business intelligence tools and practice that enable access to information to optimize work performance and payment processing. Third-party services that process payment are now faster and diverse due to The last example is stimulation in automobile business. Stimulation are used so car has very advanced technology built into it. For example, radar and sensor to detect movement of other obstacles around the car. Next, video games. We can see image of people that look similar to real people. In game, all the characters are made and then stimulated so that it look and behave like in reality. And the last one, new pilot. They are first given a stimulated airplane that not exist. The stimulated airplane has a screen that looks same as a real airplane and all the control of airplane are same. I think that's all from me. Thank you.